In that video, I'm going to show you how to configure the programmable controller IPX800 on DSS Pro. We launch DSS client in administrator mode using the system login. Then we go into the parameters in order to check the license and we verify that we have at least one bridge license. Now we will add the plugin into DSS. For this, you go into Synthesis. You click on Add. You enter the device name, IPX800. You enter the IP address of the DSS because we installed the plugin on the same machine. And for the port, you can just put a random number here. Access key and secret key are going to be used to be authenticated to the DSS. We have to copy these two values into the configurator. So enter the IP address, then DSS ID and the DSS key. The port will be 80. So we can copy the access key. For the secret key, DSS will ask the password. Then we can copy the value and we can copy the secret key here. So all the three values are coming from the DSS right there. Then we have to enter the information for the IPX. So we have the IP address of the IPX and we also have an IPI key to import from the IPX. So we copy the IP key, we enter the IP, and the port normally is 80. Click Apply to save the configuration. Here we can add a comment if we like, and we click Add button. Now we can see we have configured the bridge into the DSS. The status will remain unknown until we start the service. So if we click start, it will change to running. And if we refresh, we will see the new status that we, it will change now to connected. Now we'll add the event type. So for this, we will import the files. So the first file will generate the trigger, the trigger um, type and then we import the source event file and we will have now to create an event. So we go into event, IPX800, we select what kind of event, we select the port, we can adjust the priority, the schedule. Then we will link an action to see how it works. We will link a, a video camera, for example. We will display a pop-up. The mainstream. And I will select now the user on which it apply. Our event is not created, make sure the event is enabled. And when we press the button to trigger the port 4, you see we have now a pop-up that appears on the DSS. We can see the port source here and the event type. Now let's create an event in order to trigger the output of the IPX. We click on Add button, we select Soft Trigger here. We name the trigger, we choose the icon we would like. And then we click on OK. We select this new trigger we have created for the current site. You can ad adjust the priority and the schedule. And now we will link 
to the action. So it's a specific HTTP request we will enter here. So it will be, for example, here for the, to trigger the port, for example, number two. I will use this um, exact request, okay? The value you have here is the web port we have set up in the configurator and two is for the port number two. We select the users and we click on OK. Now we have created the event. We can try. So if we go in the monitoring, we have this button that is not here. And when we click on it, it will change the status of the output.